50-year storm in memory of Sean Brooks is a commemorative event for one of our great mates who tragically took his own life due to mental illness. The purpose of the event is to open the conversation around mental health with all surfers to create an environment where they feel comfortable to discuss their challenges without the fear of judgment. Hold, hold hands. <laughs> Many people, particularly in these challenging times, are facing situations internally and externally that they may not necessarily be prepared for and need external support on how to navigate. Most surfers are out there to clear their heads and escape the rigors of everyday life to relieve the tensions and regroup to face the world. This is done in many ways, as surfers prefer their individual approaches to this ocean remedy. Some prefer to be lone individuals and others as groups of friends. However you do it, surfing is a therapy. I think the 50th Storm is a great event for like everyone getting together and kind of embracing not only kind of surfing big waves, but also the mental health side of things. That's fantastic, you know, just having the crew sort of get together and, you know, pull, pull off an event like that it makes it a little bit more from the heart, I guess. Well, I think it's so good for everyone to get involved and, like, get down there. It opens up that narrative around mental health and making those conversations easier. This can often be difficult for people to face, but in the sanctuary of surfing, your guard has dropped and it's a good time to discuss the things that are really impacting you the most. These thoughts can be masked by the enhancement of substances, both legal and illegal, that elevate the issues and ultimately lead to worse outcomes. They sort of called him the rubber man a bit because he'd go into these crazy laybacks and then just spring back up. Unpredictable, flamboyant. Everyone wanted to see what Sean was going to do next. Just seeing fins all the way down. You know, living on the edge, he had a really graceful arc in surfing. You know, pretty futuristic. He's so in sync with the ocean and especially waves of consequence and waves that most people before Sean just didn't even really want to bar off. Fifty-year storm. What's that? That's kind of a legend. No, it's real. It's absolutely real. The fifty-year storm event concept was created by Gareth Haberley. Woke up the next morning and it was crystal. And I rang Owie and I said, "We're going to do this. It's going to be a big wave invita invitational for Sean." He goes, "He didn't say anything." He goes, "Bring Troy." So I rang Troy straight away told Troy and he just went, he went, he went even quieter, like there was silence. And then he went, that'll work. Eventually got Adam Robbo, because I had to talk to Vic Surf, and he goes, let's do it for mental health. So that was the final piece of the jigsaw from, from Adam. As an organisation, we donate funds to our charity partners firstly. Headspace, who help people with immediate mental health needs, and one in five who look at the science of identifying mental health risks and looking for cures. The name derived from the Hollywood film Point Break. The reality is most people face at least one major challenge in their life that could be referred to as their 50-year storm, 
and others face them regularly. And when it hits Bell's Beach, it'll turn into the biggest surf this planet has ever seen, and I will be there. The 50-year storm in memory of Sean Brooks is an invitational event made up of surfers from a public voting process that allows everyone an opportunity to have a say on who they think is the best Bells big wave surfer. The waiting period is between the 1st of June and the 31st of August each year. The idea is five days out from the biggest swell of the window, a call is made to come together to hold three one-hour, ten-person heats, with the biggest and best wave ridden deemed the winner. The event is serious in that it's held in serious conditions. To the winner it will be amazing. And for everyone that surfs in the event, and for the spectators, these events will be historic moments. Really though, all we're trying to do is bring the surfing community together remember Sean and hopefully help others to feel comfortable about their lives and feel the support of their mates around them. The event has had its own challenges in finding the day to run, but around the opening ceremonies and social activities, strong bonds have been built and camaraderie created that is more powerful than the surfing itself. Yeah, so I definitely use uh, sports as a mental health hack. I surf and I ski and I'm, um, I'm always hunting the best surf and snow that I can find. Getting fit, getting out in the water, spending some time with mates and just when you grow up with it and around here every day that you just kind of need to do it every day. Make sure that you have a good support crew around you and second to that is breathe. A good one is just embracing yourself with people that you love and like and you get along with and kind of having a positive energy with everyone and kind of just enjoying life and kind of not getting hung up on the negative things. Always surfing with dad and the family and friends makes me really happy all the time. The ocean's so calming. You know, so morning routine and breathing and diet, exercise, movement, interaction with people, not isolation. Oh, well, I like to get up and do a little bit of work and go for a surf. That's sort of a priority though, Doug. Yeah, you got to sort of readjust, don't you? Especially as you get older. I don't know if you get any wiser, but uh, your priorities certainly change. Go hang out with a mate, have a surf, have a laugh. You know, that's, that's the best, the best 20 I've got. Yeah, I don't know, when I'm just feeling down or caught up at work or whatever, I don't know, the ocean's my release.